Michelle Taylor from veganbreak.com and I'm really excited. I just got this brand new cookbook in the mail. It is called Spork Fed and it is written by Jenny Angle and Heather Goldberg, which are two fantastic, energetic, bright sisters that live in the Los Angeles area. And they've actually been doing cooking classes for several years now and they finally came out with a cookbook. So this is a long time coming. Um, it is a Fabulous cookbook, especially because it's got such wonderful pictures. Almost every recipe has a delicious looking picture with it, which is really important to me. Um, I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing the chocolate peanut butter mousse today, which this is our first time making it, but I will give you an honest review of how it turns out. Um, it's a really simple recipe. It's made with tofu, melted chocolate, um, peanut butter and some other spices mixed in there. Um, and all it involves is melting the chocolate, blending it together, and then sticking it in the refrigerator. So it should be a pretty quick one to make and a nice staple to kind of have on hand um, in your recipe book. So anytime you have guests over or just need to whip up a quick dessert, this will be a good one to turn to. So let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna melt the chocolate. So we're supposed to take one and a half cups of dark chocolate chips. We got these at our local grocery store, New Frontiers in, in uh, San Luis Obispo. And we are gonna melt them in a double broiler. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's this kind of fancy appliance. This is my mom's super old one, so we're gonna use that. If you don't have one of these, not to worry. You can take a small metal bowl and stick it in a pot in about an inch of water, um, and that will work just as well. So we're gonna heat the chocolate in here for about three minutes, and we're gonna stir it so that all the chocolate chips have melted, and then we're gonna put that aside and move on to step two. So our chocolate is nice and creamy and melted and has been put to the side. And next, we are going to blend it all together with the tofu and everything. So we are gonna take a, either a large blender or a food processor. Today we'll be using a food processor. And we are going to blend the chocolate together with um, silken tofu, which you can find at almost any grocery store, natural food store. Um, in addition, we're gonna add a third cup of maple syrup, a third cup of chunky peanut butter, um, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of almond extract, uh, one fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon, and a dash of sea salt. We're gonna blend it all together until it's nice and creamy and a consistent texture, and then we're gonna put that in a bowl and we're gonna refrigerate it for two hours, or you could even refrigerate it overnight depending on how much time you have, and then it will be ready to... finished blending all the ingredients together and it looks delicious already. I wanna eat it right now. That almond extract smells amazing and I think it's a big touch. So definitely if you can get your hands on some of that. Now that we're done blending everything together, we're gonna to stick this in the refrigerator for about two or three hours and then it will be ready to prepare in dishes and sprinkle with the topping and serve. So we're making the nut topping which will be sprinkled on top of the mousse once it's done. Um, and that just involves one cup of walnuts and those should be toasted. If you don't have toasted walnuts, that will be okay. Mixed together with sugar, a little bit of oil, um, sea salt, and cinnamon. And you stick it in the food processor, you just do seven pulses, and it'll be done and ready to go. <laughs> Um, presenting them all this is what the final product looks like we garnished it with some fruit and of course the nut topping looks delicious and I'm going to give it a taste mmm that is incredible so delicious the perfect consistency perfect flavor so good you must try this at home thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the other vegan break videos that I have over at veganbreak.com bye guys